My first memory of dates goes back to my uni days in ABU Zaria, where my roommates during the Ramadan season would break their fast with lots and lots of dates. I got to taste it once and I didn't quite like it, it was too sweet. But eventually, I learned I could take it with some coconuts, and since then, I've enjoyed it as a healthy snack. Hi everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I made 750 mils of date syrup from one mudu of dates. Well, that's it for excluding the one, two, three, or ten pieces me and my children popped in our mouths every now and again because i had bought this about five days prior to the day i made it i was just waiting for the day that i would see constant power supply and then i was set to doing it because i was following a recipe from rem rem the foodies channel i'm going to link that video in my description box so you can check it out so what i did was first of all pry the dates open and i took out the seeds and then i proceeded to rinse the dates with cold water two times and then strain them this is what they look like now i'm just covering the dates with water already boiled in a kettle up to just above the level of the dates i cover the pot and set it aside for over five hours well if i'm being honest it was supposed to be for just about four to five hours according to the recipe i was following but the electricity distribution company in Nigeria happened and from experience I knew that we could have gone another 24 hours without getting lights back. And at this point flies were already hovering all around my kitchen. Yes, flies are attracted to dates because of the sugar in it. So I just knew that I had to get something done. And so I thought since they're already so soft, why not just, you know, pound them, you know. And it wasn't so hard guys it was i'm glad i made that decision because the light came about six hours later when i was already done with everything i was doing see how it came out this is almost close to what you get from a blender not so much different so what i went ahead to do was to boil some more water and cover the pulp that i got from pounding with the water remember that i had set aside the water from the first boiling of course so this is what it looks like when completely covered in a cheesecloth so i just went ahead and strained it and strained it and strained it the best way that i could and this is what i got i went ahead and still poured some more water because ah we cannot allow this date to waste we must get all the juice but be careful you want to be careful how much water you pour in your dates because at the end of the day it's only going to mean more cooking time you're going to learn that eventually this is the color of the water that i got at this point i can compare it with the first water from boiling you can see the difference in the color the col difference in the colors of the juice so now at this point i'm just going to transfer my pot to the fire you can see how much this water is it's almost filling my pot and this is the pulp that is left. I do not believe that there is anything left in this pulp. Like, I have gotten, I removed all the juice from this pulp at this point. But that's just who I am. I don't like to waste. And so I set my pot on fire. At the time I started boiling, it was already about 5 p.m. So my liquid started boiling quite quickly and all I had to do was stir at interval. Note that I didn't cover my pot throughout the process. It could have spilled over and wasted. Also, it helps the water to evaporate so that it dries up more quickly. It was already 7 p.m. at this time and, I, and even though the water had dried up considerably, the syrup was just not thick enough. So I thought, oh, even if it's not thick right now, it will thicken overnight, you know, and uh, Hopefully you will get the consistency that I want and this is the next day and this is what my dates look like They are not thick at all. The syrup, date syrup, not thick at all Color, mm, close to what I expected, but it's not thick at all So I proceed to set it back on fire and this is when the magic actually happened Guys, at this point I was scared though I was like, ah, what if I don't get the results after all this stress? But when I saw this happening, see how foamy it is at the surface. I just knew, okay, we're getting there. Yes, it was thickening. Yes, it was beginning to thicken. You can even see it. So it took a little over three hours cooking time to come to this consistency. Did I mention the aroma? From the moment I started boiling these dates the previous day, there was this just pure aroma that filled my kitchen. And now, guys, look at this. Just look at this beauty. 
gosh i was in love this looked so good and it tasted so good and it smelled so good proud moment ah doshima one electricity distribution company zero <laughs> yeah we got it right so it doesn't really matter if you don't have a blender you can go ahead and use a mortar if that's what you have so guys i prepared three jars two 750 mils and one about one liter to fill the syrups with and at the end of the day i only got 750 mils of syrup uh, i was disappointed but i was happy that i was able to get the results i wanted so i just went ahead because uh -uh, my body was peppering me i went ahead and made pancakes so if you're looking for healthier options you can totally try this i've shown you how easy it is to make in the comfort of your home you only need water and dates thank you for watching this video if you totally enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this recipe with your family and friends people you think it might be helpful to if you haven't subscribed yet please take a moment to do so it will mean the world to me also leave me your comments about this video in the comment section i really love to hear from you thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you in another video bye